Hi folks, Vipin here. I'm sorry I'm making a video after such a long time. I must admit I have been very lazy. I was making a lot of changes on my website www.vipinmks.com and aside from that I have been taking classes on weekends too. Another important change I'd like to point out is that going forward, I will only be making videos on the stock market and economics. Most of the viewers find these subjects complicated, so I'd like to emphasize on these topics more. Anyway, apologies aside, let me explain the various concepts of national income. Since there are too many to talk about here, I will focus only on GDP and per capita income. There are also the most frequently discussed in the world of today. India's GDP is $1.87 trillion. So what does that mean? GDP is gross domestic product, which means the total value of all the goods and services produced in a country. Take for example, that India manufactures chocolates and the total number of chocolates we manufacture in a year is 1000 and the value of each chocolate is 10 rupees. So the GDP of India would be 1000 chocolates into 10 rupees. America's GDP is 16.77 trillion dollars. So this is a good thing or a bad thing. America has around 300 million people and these people are able to produce 16.77 trillion dollars in annual output. We have a billion people but our total output is just 1.87 trillion dollars. The greater the GDP doesn't necessarily mean a better country. Aside from how much a country produces, one must look at the benefits or the welfare the citizens receive in return. The GDP doesn't measure that. Even if America is producing 16.77 trillion in output each year, vital aspects of an economy like healthcare and education continue to be extremely expensive. Why is India's GDP so low? There are several reasons for that. One of the reasons is that India does not innovate. Most of the companies are in, in India are into outsourcing of some minor project or the other. The Indians who are innovating are doing it outside India. So with all this happening, we are lagging behind innovating countries like America or Japan. How do you measure GDP? GDP is equal to consumption plus investment plus government spending plus the total amount of exports minus the total amount of imports. The problem is consumption does not consider how we buy products. Many Americans buy products on credit but GDP does not consider that. Investment is the money invested by a business to buy new assets. It does not consider the amount of money saved by an individual. Government spending, more the government spends, the better it is for the economy. And that's where the part of welfare actually comes in. America's welfare is not so great, but their consumption is at an all-time high. Their exports as well are also at an all-time high and their imports, they do not depend so much on imports unlike India where we need to import a considerable amount of oil to keep the vehicles running. India's per capita income was $1,570 in 2013. The country with the highest per capita income is Luxembourg. Each citizen has an average annual income of $1.11 lakh. America's per capita income is $54,597. Per capita income represents how much a citizen of a country earns in a year. Just $1,570 per annum shows how little an Indian actually makes. This means the average income per person in India is less than $5 per day. There are some of us who earn lakhs per annum and even few who earn in crores. These are a tiny group of people compared to the many who earn very little. This is why in India most people don't pay income tax. They don't even qualify to pay income tax. To qualify to pay income tax your annual income should be over rupees 2.5 lakh. That is even 1 rupee over 2.5 lakh you still qualify to pay income tax. This means your income should be around $4,000 or more. Since most of India does not fall in this category, the money collected via income tax is so little. 
This is also why India has so many taxes like excise, service tax, VAT, etc. This is implemented so we can collect taxes from even those who do not pay income tax. And these are the most important aspects of national income. And like I said, there are more, but these two need to be understood because they are more relevant. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Follow me on Facebook. My name is Vipin Mandiam. I have a Facebook page which has some 900 likes. I don't update there, but I always update on my profile regularly. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day. Bye.